you may need to increase or reduce the terms in fractions for a problem on your assessment. So you may have a problem such as this. You'll have three-fifths equals. They'll give you the other side of the equal sign, but there may be a question mark here or a variable. So the question is how you determine what goes in your numerator or it could be vice versa. In any event, whatever relationship happened between your denominators must also happen between your numerators. So to get five into 20, you obviously multiply five by four, that equals 20. To get your numerator, you'll do the exact same thing. Three times four equals 12. So our answer is 12 over 20. And if this is a multiple choice, you'll probably find 12 as one of your options. You may also have to reduce fractions, or reduce your term, which is a slightly different step. So, let's say you have 8 over 22. You want to reduce these to the lowest number possible. And you can do that by looking for common factors. 8 and 22, you may think, well, I could divide 8 by 4. However, you can't divide 22 by 4. However, you can divide them both by 2. Eight divided by two equals four. 22 divided by two equals 11. There are no other common factors between four and 11. So this is as low as we can reduce eight over 22. Let's try another one just for the practice. What if you had 15 over 105? Well, let's start by deciding what number you could divide them both by. And given that they each end in five, a good bet is to divide both the top and the bottom by the number five. 15 divided by 5 is 3, 105 divided by 5 is 21. In this case, 3 over 21, they both still have the common factor of 3. So we can divide one step further, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So 15 over 105 can be reduced to 1 7th.